The 49ers have Monday off before they resume training camp on Tuesday for the final four day stretch. Here are the facts and statistics you should know through eight days of camp. And remember, we're talking about practice, not a game, practice. All three quarterbacks have played well so far. Jimmy Garoppolo's completion percentage is 64.3. He has thrown six touchdown passes and just two interceptions, meaning his TD to INT ratio is three to one. For his career, his TD to INT ratio is roughly two to one. So he seems to be improving. Nick Mullins' completion percentage is a whopping 72.1. He's extremely accurate and dialed into the offense, as always. He also was thrown six touchdown passes and four interceptions, although two picks were the receiver's fault. C.J. Beathard's completion percentage is 63.8, and he has thrown seven touchdown passes and only two picks. He has played particularly well in the red zone. It's important that all three quarterbacks have played well in practice because all three might have to play this season given the current pandemic. Brandon Ayuk is Jimmy Garoppolo's favorite wide receiver. Ayuk caught 12 passes from Garoppolo through eight days of camp before leaving Sunday's session with an apparent hamstring injury. Ayuk has caught more passes from Garoppolo than any other wide receiver. But Kendrick Bourne and Trent Taylor each have caught 11 passes from Garoppolo in camp. All three wideouts have excellent chemistry with the starting quarterback. So assuming Ayuk returns from his hamstring injury before the regular season begins, Garoppolo should have plenty of wide receivers he trusts, even while Debo Samuel is out with a broken foot. George Kittle still is the team's leading receiver and the most forgotten man in the red zone. He has caught 14 passes from Garoppolo, tops on the 49ers. But in eight practices, Kittle has scored zero touchdowns with the first string offense and gotten just one measly target in the red zone. In his three season career, Kittle has scored just 12 touchdowns despite establishing himself as the best offensive player who's not a quarterback in the NFL. The 49ers simply don't seem motivated to get him the ball in the red zone. Bourne and Ayuk are their go-to guys near the goal line. Each has caught two touchdown passes from Garoppolo in camp. Fred Warner and Jaquaski Tart are tied for the team lead in pass breakups of Jimmy Garoppolo. Each player has broken up three of Garoppolo's passes. Both Warner and Tart are in phenomenal shape and have played extremely well. Free safety Jimmy Ward also looks in good shape and has broken up two of Garoppolo's passes. And veteran cornerback Richard Sherman has picked off Garoppolo twice and returned one for a touchdown. Warner, Tart, Ward, and Sherman have been the 49ers' best healthy coverage players in camp. Jason Verrett is leading the competition to start opposite Richard Sherman at cornerback. Not because Verrett has outplayed the competition, he hasn't. He has given up a deep touchdown catch and broken up zero of Garoppolo's passes, as opposed to Emmanuel Mosley, who has given up no touchdown passes and broken up one throw from Garoppolo. But Verrett leads a more important category. Through eight practices, the 49ers official team website has taken 11 pictures of him on the practice field and only three pictures of Mosley. The team generally takes pictures of the players it wants the media to write about. So it's clear the 49ers want the media to write about Verrett, meaning it seems they want him to win the competition. And he hasn't done anything to lose it yet. He has been solid, just not as good as Mosley, the most underrated and disrespected player on the 49ers. But there's another four days left. Let's see what happens. <laughs>